Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on to give a prophetic message. So guys, this message is stemming from Numbers 711 and coming out of scripture Isaiah 711. So I'm going to read Isaiah 711 and then I'm going to let you guys know how the Holy Spirit led me. Then I'm going to read number 7, then number 11, and then the overall message. What happened this morning is a little different than what's happened with any other numbers that I've done. So I already had the overall message yesterday and everything else that went with it. But this morning when I was going over it, something came to me. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you guys know once I'm going through it, what came to me this morning. Then the scripture came to me this morning after the words, then um, a little domino effect and it actually confirms the overall message. So that was a, oh wow, moment for me because the overall message was written yesterday and what I would stumble upon today confirms the overall message. So I just wanted to state that, but I'm gonna let you guys know what's what when we're going through the message. So I'm gonna read Isaiah 711. Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the highest above. So after reading Isaiah 7, 11, what came to me was you ask amiss. But I didn't understand after reading Isaiah 7, 11, how, why did you ask amiss come to me? So I'm going to read a little snippet of a commentary here and then continue. This is part of this scripture from Isaiah 7, 11. This is part of the commentary and it breaks it down. So it says here, but Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. So the breakdown here, it says not to believe God's word without a sign is to tempt God, but to refuse a sign when God offers it for the aid and help of your infirmity is to rebel against him. See, there's a difference to tempt and to refuse, right? So now I'm going to read James 4, 3 through 4, because now it's going to make sense on why you asked and miss came to me. And then I just, you know, did a little digging on why would that come to me? Cause it didn't make sense with just reading seven eleven. And now I'm going to read James four, three through four. And now it's going to tie in. So it says here, you ask God for something and do not receive it because you ask with wrong motives out of selfishness or with unrighteous agenda. So that when you get what you want, you may spend it on your hedonistic desires. Your adulterousness, disloyal sinners, flirting with the world and breaking your vow to God. Do you not know that being a world's, the world's friend that is loving the things of the world is being God's enemy? So whoever chooses to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. So after that, your relationship with the Lord came to me. And then now, so I'm good, but nothing else came after that. So your relationship with the Lord came to me after reading that, right? So your, your relationship with the Lord right now is not in a good space. So now I'm going to read number seven and number 11, because nothing else stemmed from your relationship with the Lord is not rocky just came to me. So your relationship with the Lord is rocky at the moment for some reason. And now I'm going to read number seven and 11 here. So number seven, perfection, completion, purification, consecration, sovereignty, the covenant between man and God. And number 11, number of the prophetic, a prophetic anointing, revelation, transition, a paradigm shift, the end or finish, confusion, things of imperfection, disorganized of systems, disorder or chaos of things, lawlessness, judgment. So confusion stood out to me. So now I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 14, 33. It says here, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. So after reading that, Isaiah 26, 3 came to me. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So after that, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 came to me. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not onto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So now I'm going to let you guys know what happened. So that was it from yesterday. And then I got the overall message, right? So this morning now, I'm going to double back. Remember when I said, remember when I read, let's see this little commentary here and then I'm going to get you guys up to speed. I just needed to read what I got yesterday. Then you'll see how the Lord, how the Holy Spirit moved me and the confirmation that I received 
So let me just reread it. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord, right? So then um, right here, the breakdown from that, it says not to believe in God without a sign is to tempt God, but to refuse a sign when God offers it for the aid and the help of our infirmity is to rebel against him. So what came to me was double-minded. Now I'm going to read James 1, 8. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. I was led to, to to look up a little bit more, like a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, but what else? So I just went, I was led to go in to dig a little deeper. So I went to the commentary. So now I'm going to read that. A double-minded man, a man who has, as it were, two souls, whose heart is divided between God and the world and is not simply given up to him, nor entirely confides in him for the direction, aid, and support which he stands in need of is unstable in all his ways, being without the true wisdom, he perpetually disagrees both with himself and others and will be perpetually running into inconsistencies of conduct while those imperfect impressions of religion which he feels will serve rather to perplex and torment than to guide and confirm him in the right way. If you're seeing 711, the Lord is speaking to you regarding this back and forth that you have with him, this rocky relationship that you have with him, and this is where it's coming from. You're not sure. It's like a scale and it's tipping back and forth. This is a problem here. And receive nothing from the Lord came to me and I don't even know why. So I just look when I don't know why, like I get some word, I will look it up to see if that's even scripture. So I put in receive nothing from the Lord and guess what? The scripture James 1:8 a sentence backwards. So now I'm going to read James 1, 7 through 8. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So this is why whomever is not receiving what they're asking for. First, you're asking amiss. Then you're not asking at all. You're back and forth. Your pride is getting in the way here. You just want your pleasures. You want the Lord. You want the world. It's like you want everything at the same time. This is the problem here. So this is why you're running into um, blockages when it comes to your prayers not being answered and you're not seeing the manifestation of it. So, um, curiosity just came to me because I was looking for the word. So when I just read that, then I was just like, let me, let me see what's the sentence before one, seven through eight. And guess what it says here? This is James one, six through eight. So this is confirmation, but let him ask in faith. Well, faith is part of the overall message. So this is what uh, the Lord confirmed um, that the overall message is definitely correct. So it's regarding someone's faith. And when I read the overall message, you'll, you'll know why. So this is the overall message was written yesterday. This was a scripture that I got this morning, right before I came on. So, uh, so yeah, so the faith is highlighted here because that's actually a word that's in the overall message. So it says here, it's James 1, 6 through 8, but let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind for that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and unstable in all his ways. So the Lord is just confirming that your faith level is not there. So now I'm going to read the overall message. Your heart and mind has to be aligned with whatever it is you ask of the Lord, because your faith and belief in the Lord will cause the manifestation of it. The Lord has all the answers, so he should be included in your everyday walk. Peace and abundance and all the good things the Lord has for your life will be your portion if you allow the Lord to guide your steps. Be specific in your needs and wants with an open mind and an open heart. So that's the end of the message, guys. I hope this message helps somebody. I love you guys. See you soon, Lord willing, and have a blessed day. Bye.